I first read A Doll's House in my undergrad. It was the second text we'd studied and I had no idea who Ibsen was. I still remember I was sitting in my room at the time reading A Doll's House and of course it was written in the late 1800s. And the one thing I did know thing, something about was feminism and women's rights. And I could not believe that this text had been written at that time. And I remember finishing it and feeling overwhelmed by it and realising that plays can change the world. And I also felt a real resonance with Nora. She was a young woman who was figuring out her life, her wants, desires. And I certainly felt as a young woman um, who grew up in a rural town, moved to the big city, was figuring out my life, I felt a real connection with her because of that and, I, and since then I've always felt haunted by Nora and like I've sort of carried her with me all these years. The idea of setting it in three different time periods is one that I've had for many many years um, and it's always sort of been in the back of my brain to do it and then when uh, Dominic Hill, the artistic director of the sets, asked me what I was interested in doing I said oh I'd love to do a doll's house but split over three times and I selected these particular times because they are seminal moments in the women's rights movement. In 1918, it was the year that women got the vote and could vote for the first time. In 1968, it was the year abortion became legal and the pill became more commonplace and was much more easy to access. And then in, 19, in 2018, um, was the year after the Me Too movement and it felt like we were really feeling the fallout of all those exposés done about how men had abused their power um, over women. And for me, there were, there were such key moments in the last 100 years, um, and they're also 50 years apart. So we've got three very different women experiencing three very different times, but navigating the same journey. Um, and that felt like a really exciting proposition to look at almost like 100 years of women's rights.